the Holy Ghost is a giver of life the Holy Ghost is a life-giving spirit he is literally the spirit of life he's the spirit of healing he's the spirit of health he's the spirit of youth renewal and if you get to know him he will do that for you the father is in heaven jesus at his right hand the holy ghost is god in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is andrew hemstrott i thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us well today i'm going to be talking about the holy ghost as i am wont to do well he is god in the earth today well many people have not even heard there be any holy ghost mm -hmm. acts chapter 19 verse 1 and it came to pass that while apollos was at corinth paul having passed through the upper coasts came to ephesus and finding certain disciples verse 2 and he said unto them have you received say received received, received the holy ghost since you believed now he's saying you need to receive who the holy, the holy ghost since you believe he didn't say there was a receiving that happened when they believed he just said they believed in acts chapter 16 verse 31 i remember in the prison there the jailer came what said what must i do to be saved and paul answered and said believe say believe believe, believe on the lord jesus and you shall be saved in your house did he say receive no. he said believe and here Paul is implying the exact same thing have you received say received received receive the Holy Ghost since you believed and why would that be because Jesus isn't here Jesus is at the right hand of the Father and sent the Holy Ghost therefore who do we receive the Holy Ghost whether we're being born again whether we're being filled with the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues or whether we're being healed or whether we're being delivered or whether we're doing having anything that God is doing to us are you here who are we receiving the Holy Ghost so we believe on Jesus what do you mean believe on Jesus we believe on Jesus what he did he died for your sins he was buried raised again for your justification right yes by his stripes you were healed all of those things and went up and sat down say sat down, sat down sat down on the right hand of the father we believe on that we believe on him and we believe on him that he sent the holy ghost into the earth mm -hmm. for us to receive who do we receive Holy Ghost who do we believe on the Holy Ghost. No. well we believe we believe on Jesus but we also believe on the Holy Ghost yeah. you know I guess that was a trick question I don't know but you understand where I'm going here right well we can receive the Holy Ghost yes as the as the one who gives us the ability to speak with other tongues right mm -hmm. that's the initial evidence but there are many receivings of him that people are just completely ignorant of here they didn't even know there was a Holy Ghost mm -hmm shame on the preacher who preached and left them without the holy ghost mm -hmm. he just left them in belief on jesus that's good but it doesn't go far enough we believe on jesus we have to receive the one who he sent say the one, the one. that he sent many don't know him as a person do you understand many don't know him as god the only part of the godhead in the earth today isn't that a shame yes. but we're we're making a difference we're changing that but many don't know him as the one who heals the one who renews youth the one who gives life the holy ghost is a giver of life the Holy Ghost is a life-giving spirit 
he is literally the spirit of life he's the spirit of healing he's the spirit of health he's the spirit of youth renewal and if you get to know him he will do that for you are you getting this so we need to look at him more you want to be healed you got to look at him Jesus isn't healing you he heals nobody in our day who heals you Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost he's the healer he has healing he has gifts of healings mm -hmm. some people need to hear that well here we go I'm I'm just gonna talk about the Holy Ghost reveal him to you some more right expose you say expose you see those people at Ephesus were not exposed to the Holy Ghost they didn't even know there was one but that's not you say that's not me say I'm exposed right now if you're exposed to the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost heals if you're exposed to the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost renews youth if you're exposed to the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost gives life the Holy Ghost prospers he does all of these things he's God in the earth Woo! Amen. by and through the words that I'm saying tonight listen you will be able to enter into the spirit of healing the spirit of youth renewal the spirit of life in a way that you never have before because you're being exposed to him he is the spirit of healing say he is, he is. The, spirit the spirit of healing Heal. these words will carry you there there where you say there to healing there to youth renewal words are carriers you understand mm -hmm. they pick you up and take you there so let them take you there let them pick you up and carry you and so shall you be healed so shall you be delivered so shall your youth be renewed and set back to before things ever happened we worship you Holy Ghost he the Holy Ghost is the spirit of healing I'm introducing him to you as that I'm gonna show you in the scriptures you understand that right but he is the spirit of healing he oozes it you know I was curious because I, di I didn't write these verses down but remember Jesus said he's the spirit of truth and then it says you know he won't speak of himself but it really means he won't speak away from the truth why would he not speak away from the truth he is the spirit of truth he can't go oh, he can't he can't speak away from the truth he can't do anything but heal you if you get to know him so you bump up to him bump up to him what's gonna happen what's gonna rub off on you healing youth renewal prosperity so he the Holy Ghost is the spirit of healing he's the spirit of health he's the spirit of youth renewal he's the spirit of life learn from him and he will renew your youth learn from him and how to walk with him he will heal your physical body it's a fact say it's a fact, it's a fact. there's no question about it he does that that's what he does it's part of who he is it's a huge part of who he is it's his thing you know we all have our things I guess we talk about some, well, what does he do what does Holy Ghost do heals people delivers them prospers them renews their youth sets them back in time I have messages on all this stuff but you understand right mm -hmm. how do we know this stuff because we know him how do we have that functioning in our life by getting to know him the guy doing it are you here yes. is this fun yet I'm liking it 
it's a huge part of who he is and what he does and if you don't get everything right away just stick with it stick with him remember he's the teacher he'll teach you he'll lead you he'll guide you into these things stick with it say stick with it, stick with it. a lot of people don't get what they need because they didn't stick with it but listen if you hear the words coming to you tonight you will have the healing that he's bringing to you you will have the youth renewal that he's bringing to you and nothing can stop it In jesus name who well let's look at this you all right looking at some stuff now let's look into how jesus healed would that be all right yes because we know that you know in jesus day in his ministry when he was on the earth say when he was on the earth, when he was on the earth. is jesus on the earth now no. who is on the earth the holy, the holy ghost right well when jesus was on the earth let's see how he healed people uh, matthew chapter 8 go right to verse 16 uh, when the evening was come they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils and he cast out the spirits with his wand wait a minute no i read that wrong he cast out the spirits with his word and healed all that were sick how many did jesus heal all that were sick and we know that this was a multitude we could read around this verse there were thousands and thousands of people what kind of sicknesses were there all kinds of sicknesses he healed all that needed to be healed he delivered all that needed to be delivered the bible says he healed them all right and it says he did it with his word now do you remember another verse of scripture i don't know if we're going to go there but he said my words are what spirit and life so we know he when he was speaking he was speaking spirit and life so he healed them so how many people got healed all every sickness was healed say every sickness was healed, every sickness was healed. say every sickness was healed It doesn't matter what the sickness was were there any people that maybe had illnesses on them from old age yes. mm -hmm. sure they would have hobbled there hobble 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 got there with their canes and their crutches mm -hmm. he healed them all and one of the methods god heals by renewing the youth in that particular part mm -hmm. but still it was jesus through speaking words are you here yes. all right so go to luke we got that settled right he healed them all there wasn't one sickness there that came up and said uh, nope that's not available to that person okay yeah but that sickness was by a devil he said he got rid of the devils mm -hmm. yeah. a lot of sicknesses are by devils right. not all of them but a lot of them but it doesn't matter that's the point mm -hmm. the spoken word that jesus spoke removed the illness all right we're talking about how jesus healed we know he spoke words luke chapter 4 verse 18 the spirit of the lord is on me who did jesus call lord the spirit lord that's literally what it says the spirit lord is upon me because he did jesus know he was a he yes. a person yeah mm -hmm. because he has anointed me the anointing wasn't the he the he the spirit lord was the one who anointed jesus right, right. to preach the gospel to the poor he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted to preach say preach, preach. deliverance to the captives preaching is speaking words how did they get healed how did all of them get healed by spoken words who was the one doing it it was the Holy Ghost and his anointing that Jesus was speaking in that healed them it wasn't actual Jesus you understand he was anointed the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me Jesus 
to speak and heal say speak and heal, speak and heal. so there might had to be healing in the words spoken right yes. I know I'm taking a little bit of time here but I'm trying to set things up so that you can understand if there are words that the Holy Ghost was given that was that he was giving Jesus to speak had healing in them because people got healed by them then there must have been healing in the words themselves that the Holy Ghost was giving are you here yes all right can you see that it was the Holy Ghost that was doing the healing mm -hmm. in Jesus's ministry how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power who went about doing good and healing mm -hmm. I believe that's Acts 10 38 Luke 13 verse 10 and he was what's that word there he was teaching now what is it what does it mean to be a be teaching he had to be speaking words right? right you think he was teaching by the Holy Ghost by the anointing of the Holy Ghost Jesus and he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath and behold there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bowed together and could in no wise lift herself up and when Jesus saw her he called unto her and said he called and said woman thou art loosed from thine infirmity and when he laid his hands on her immediately she was made straight and what glorified God did healing glorify God yes here we have scriptural proof that's when somebody gets healed by God the Holy Ghost then they give glory to God why would they give glory to God because he's the one that healed her mm -hmm. are you here yes. so these words spoken by the Spirit heals all diseases again I'm gonna just make some statements because we need to go from here words spoken by the Spirit heals all diseases we already covered that mm -hmm. right and glorifies God we're laying a foundation God the Holy Ghost heals God the Holy Ghost renews youth if they were sick because they needed something renewed then that was included in the all all right keep going with me and it glorifies God would healing glorify God in your body let's suppose the Holy Ghost heals people in our day and he heals you does that glorify him yes yes according to this scripture right mm -hmm. it should glorify him because we're giving we're giving acknowledgement to the fact that the Holy Ghost healed me mm -hmm. say the Holy Ghost healed me, the Holy healed me. Ghost healed me. who healed you the Holy Ghost. is that good to know yes. so would healing glorify God in your body yes does he the Holy Ghost have the ability and will to heal his own body if the Holy Ghost has healing power would it be his will and ability and would he have ability to heal his own body what kind of God would he be if he didn't have the ability to heal his own body mm -hmm. we'd question wouldn't we well, yeah Rollo that seems like a silly question well it won't in a minute go to first Corinthians would the Holy Ghost heal his own body would he have power to heal his own body would he do it yes 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 first Corinthians 6 19 what know you not that your body is the temple of who holy the Holy Ghost your body you said yes he has the power and ability and will to heal his own body your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you the body which you have of God you are not your own your body not just your own sometimes you can put that word in there not just your own for you are bought with a price therefore 
glorify Amen. God in your body who's the God that's in your body the Holy Ghost. the Holy Ghost what glorifies God healing and health mm -hmm. glorify God in your body why because he's in that body mm -hmm. what does the Holy Ghost do he heals people he renews their youth say the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. Heals, me. heals me the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. Renews, renews my youth, my youth. He's, in my body. he's in my body what's he doing in there hanging out watching TV mm -hmm. no he's doing what he do he do what he do so glorify God in your body does healing glorify God yes, yes. magnify glorify could mean magnify or increase or expand the influence of mm -hmm. say that expand, expand. the influence yeah. of the Holy Ghost in your body magnify the Holy Ghost in your body if you do that what's he gonna do he will mag increase the healing he will increase the youth renewal is this fun yet yes. and we know the number one way to magnify God is with our mouth your mouth is part of your body mm -hmm. say this the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is healing me, is healing me. The, Holy the Holy Ghost is renewing, is renewing my, youth, my youth according to Scripture that's what he does is that glorifying God yes. yeah you're expanding his influence in your body say I'm expanding, I'm expanding his, influence his influence in my body, in my body. <laughs> all right second Corinthians chapter 6 let's look at verse 16 and what agreement see now that was agreement right you agreed with what he was doing what agreement has the temple of God with idols you are the temple of the Living God who did he say you were a temple of before in that other verse of Scripture the Holy Ghost here is calling him the Holy Ghost the Living God what must a living God have to be a living God he would have to be life you get this he's a life God he's a life-giving God say he's a life-giving God. Life God who's in you life-giving God what if you, you magnify him and expand his influence in you in your body life more life so you're magnifying a life are you seeing that yes. he's a life-giving God life-giving means quickening say quickening. quickening Romans chapter 8 let's look at verse 11 glory be to God forever but if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you who do we have to be talking about here Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost he's the spirit that raised up Jesus from the dead mm -hmm. dwells in you Holy Ghost the one dwelling in you now did he have to quicken Jesus to raise him up from the dead mm -hmm. Jesus was dead he had to raise him up mm -hmm. the Spirit quickened Jesus raised him from the dead if the Spirit of him that raised Jesus from the dead dwell in you he that raised up Christ from the dead shall say shall shall, shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwells in you shall quicken did he say might quicken no. No. is it maybe quicken no. he might quicken now mortal does not mean dead he didn't say he shall quicken your dead body he shall quicken your mortal body mortal means could die subject to death meaning I'm not dead yet say I'm not dead yet not dead then yet. there's hope for you because the spirit shall quicken the the spirit that's in you shall quicken you mm -hmm. the body that's not dead yet can you give me that I'm not dead yet yes. this is a verse apply to me yes. who shall he quicken me, me. say he shall, he shall quicken, quicken me 
now quicken means to make alive but uh, but you said you're not dead yet he shall make more alive remember jesus said i came to give you life and that you might have it more abundantly now one thing that the, we understand we're talking about the Holy Ghost the one that's in you he's there he's going to quicken you mm -hmm. your mortal body does he do this mm -hmm. says he shall mm -hmm. not might shall if we get in agreement with him he shall quicken your mortal body mm -hmm. in fact let's look at look up at a uh, verse 2 it says for the law of the spirit of life in christ jesus say the law. the law it's a law if he's in it's a law it can't be broken he shall quicken you mm -hmm. you know why he shall quicken you because that's what he does he's made of life you strip him down into the, the inner core of his being what's there life life that lives itself and he quickens whatever he comes in contact with he shall quicken your mortal body who the Holy Ghost he can't not do it it's a law it's what he does he is the spirit of life John chapter 6 verse 63 it is the spirit that quickens the flesh profits nothing the words I speak to you they are spirit and they are life it's the spirit that quickens the spirit gives life now if the spirit gives life what must he have life to give if he's going to give life let's just assume that I'm the spirit I'm not you understand but if I were the spirit and I came and I was gonna give somebody some life what would I have to have to give them some life? some life I would have to have some life it's a lot easier than I maybe I'm making it seem it's the spirit that quickens it's the spirit that gives life that's what quickening means. quickening means giving life so the spirit it's the spirit that gives life mm -hmm. if you know the Holy Ghost he shall give you life are you here yes. and if he is giving life he has to have it to give he can't give something he doesn't have why does he give it because he is it yes. John 10 10 you found that right yes. probably have that underlined the thief comes not but for to kill steal and destroy I am come that they might have life and that they might have it the life more say more more abundantly well how can you have more life if you're already alive what good does more life do that would heal mm -hmm. more life would renew youth mm -hmm. more life in whatever situation you're in causes it to increase and be magnified and to go forward are you here yes. if you have a sick part of your body what does it need more life more quickening by who the Holy Ghost more life to a sick body part heals that part abundant life is more than more than enough that's literally what it means more than more than enough who does this Holy Ghost why does he do it because it's who he is he quickens to more than more than enough enough is not enough right. just enough to get by is not enough more than enough now that's God say more than enough more than enough, more than enough healing more than enough life more than enough health you want to know where God is that's where God is you're believing for this pittance you're believing for just enough to get by he's not even there you're missing it mm -hmm. Jesus did not send the Holy Ghost for you to have enough to get by he sent the Holy Ghost for you to have more than more than more than more than enough to get by mm -hmm. even in your physical body stop believing for minuscule 
healing to just get off of the couch you are supposed to believe for complete healing and restoration and full mobility that glorifies God that's what he's doing in your body right now more life abundant life is too much life and if you have too much life in your physical body it begins to renew your youth what do you think people in heaven are living on just enough to get by why do they stay so young they got more than more than enough listen the Holy Ghost says I require too much he lives in you he requires extra life are you getting this mm -hmm. he is literally the spirit of healing and health and youth renewal he carries life within himself that quickens I require and call for the fullness and restoration the fullness of restoration the fullness of liberty the fullness of mobility can you see this can you see who the Holy Ghost is him in you what's he calling for enough to get by right sadness weak sometimes not enough energy to get by I'm not mocking anybody I'm just trying to give you a window into an insight into who the Holy Ghost is he's in you and he requires life he requires more than enough I require and call for fullness of restoration can you hear that fullness of mobility Amen. right mm -hmm. fullness he's in you he requires it your your body is his temple what does he require well he can't require it he can not only require that he does and then he produces it mm -hmm. in you mm -hmm. if you get in agreement with him the problem is you haven't been in agreement with him okay. stop believing for partial betterment he doesn't have any James 4 3 says you ask and receive not because you asked amiss you missed it say I ask, I ask for full, for full restoration. restoration that's what he has that's what he's calling for if you call for that it'll begin working for you so I hope I'm helping you we need to look at him stop looking at yourself stop looking at yourself <laughs> who are we supposed to look? him is he a weak sick Holy Ghost what is he what is he made out of? he's made out of life the life of God he is the spirit of healing mm -hmm. he is the spirit of divine health he is the spirit of everlasting life we look at him what does he do that divine health full restoration who are we looking at him Amen. I'm getting younger looking at him I'm just telling you what the Holy Ghost told me to say I must have full restoration you got a problem with that take it up with him it's not enough halfway is not enough say halfway is not enough halfway. Why would that be? He lives in there. Let's suppose you got halfway healed, which is better than nothing. Right? What is he going to still be calling for? Healing. Full healing. He must have full restoration. He must have full healing. He must have, meaning he's, he's all the time going there. But most of the time we're going here. We, we're good enough I feel better now I only need two pillows okay so he is the image and I hope I've got you here he is the image 
of healing and health and youth renewal and the life of God he is God and he is the life of God does he have the ability to heal his body yes. whose body use body he's the one you're the one he's in and he requires full restoration mm -hmm. to him sickness disease infirmity age-related issues unacceptable say unacceptable. unacceptable can you see that have I brought you up that far yes. it's unacceptable to him sickness infirmity is unacceptable we have to come to the place of knowing him I worship you Holy Ghost to you sickness is unacceptable now, I'm not gonna condemn myself if I'm dealing with something you understand that's not the point here but I'm getting to know him I'm getting to look at him I'm gonna take you to a verse of scripture we're changed into his image from glory to glory right mm -hmm. to him any sickness say any any sickness or disease or infirmity is unacceptable and he will still be trying to get you to full restoration mm -hmm. does this make sense yes. we have to come to the place of knowing him as the spirit of health spirit of healing spirit of health mm -hmm. spirit of life is he the spirit of health yes. is he the spirit of healing yes. is he the spirit of life yes. we're coming to know him as that right what body is he going to heal and life and quicken the one he's in you who is this good news yes. I think I'm preaching the good news yes. well he doesn't accept it should you accept it if he doesn't accept sickness and say this I don't, I don't accept, accept any, any sickness, sickness or, disease or disease in my body, in my body. what did you just do you agreed with the Holy Ghost that just made him happy that made him extremely happy why because that's who he is and then you you are glorifying him in your body when you say that are you getting this Ooh, no sickness no disease who am I in agreement with Holy Ghost he's the spirit of health he's the spirit of healing he's the spirit of life he doesn't accept it you must not accept it because of him well I just I just need a little bit of healing it's not about you it's about him he's the spirit of health and your body is not your own with the Holy Ghost healing is not optional let me say that again with the Holy Ghost healing is not if you're gonna walk with the Holy Ghost healing is not an option so to fulfill the plan or the will of God third John 2 the plan and will of God is you gotta prosper and be in health to fulfill the plan of God with the Holy Ghost you have to be healed is this too difficult you can't fulfill the plan of God unless you're healed because that is the plan that is the will but we have to look at him and we're changed into the same image mm -hmm. you're changed into healing you're changed into youth renewal you're changed into the same image from glory to glory by beholding second Corinthians 3 16 nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away now the Lord is see the veil is taken away I keep threatening this I was thinking about it this week and didn't get around to it but making a curtain so that when I I can pull it back when I go now the Lord is you pull the curtain back mm -hmm. who do you see behind the curtain now the Lord is behind the curtain that spirit wait a minute no that's what it says now the Lord now in the earth the Lord is that spirit and where the Spirit of the Lord is or where the Spirit is Lord there is 
liberty liberty from sickness and disease would be healing so where the Spirit of the Lord is when the veil is taken away when he is Lord in your body say when he is Lord, he is Lord. in my body there will be healing there will be youth renewal can you see this yes. now the Lord is that spirit where the Spirit of the Lord is there's liberty but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord what's the glory of the Lord he's the spirit of health he's the spirit of youth renewal he's the spirit of healing I'm beholding his glory as I look at him listen to me as I look at the Holy Ghost and behold his glory I am changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by him the Spirit of the Lord mm -hmm. how does it say I'm changed from where I'm at to where I should be by beholding him looking at him him who the Spirit Lord where is he in you he's the spirit of health he's the spirit of healing he's the spirit of life are you getting this we begin to know him as the spirit of healing we begin to know him as the spirit of life we begin to know him as the spirit of youth renewal and we begin to glorify God in our body is this any good now the Lord is that spirit who's that spirit Holy Ghost why would that be he's the one Jesus sent into the earth he's the one we're supposed to receive mm -hmm. now how are we receiving him as the spirit of healing as the spirit of life as the spirit of youth renewal mm -hmm. are you getting this I'm beholding him I'm learning about him I'm receiving him Hebrews chapter 13 verse 6 so that we may boldly say the Lord is my helper and I will not fear we may boldly say the Lord is my helper do I have scripture that I can boldly say something what can I boldly say that the Lord is my helper now the Lord is that spirit can I boldly say the Lord the spirit Lord is my helper mm -hmm. yes. if I boldly say the Spirit Lord is my helper what happens he begins to help you the, now the Lord is that spirit the Lord is my helper I can boldly say the Lord is my helper are you getting this yes. and when I boldly say I can boldly call saying calling you understand I'm calling the Lord my helper would healing help yes. if I call I can boldly call I can boldly say the Lord is my healer can I say boldly the Lord is my youth renewer yes. only if I know him that way and you can so who is this that we're talking about the Lord our helper he is the Holy Ghost are you getting this and we can boldly say things about him Psalms 118 and then verse 6 I called upon the Lord in distress the Lord answered me and set me in a large place verse 5 I called upon the Lord in distress the word distress here means in a tight place or under duress I called upon the Lord how do you call upon the Lord but by saying mm -hmm. I call by saying upon the Lord my helper mm -hmm. and the Lord my helper the Holy Ghost answered me answered my saying please hear this he answered my saying I called upon the Lord in distress whatever the sickness or distress is I called upon the Lord my helper called upon him by saying the Lord answered me the Lord answered my saying 
the Lord answered my say the Lord answered, the Lord answered. my saying and set me in a large place set me in a free large place of full mobility how did that happen I called upon the Lord by saying the Lord answered my saying and set me free are you here you got to know who the Lord is we're calling upon the Lord who is the spirit of healing who is the spirit of health who is the spirit of youth renewal who is the spirit of life we're calling upon him by saying mm -hmm. what are we saying his word speaking in agreement with his word calling upon him and he he hears that and answers your calling and your saying and sets you in healing are you getting this yes. well I'm telling you how to get your healing learn to agree with the God that lives on the inside of you and call yourself what he calls you call yourself healed call your youth renewed call for full restoration in health call for full deliverance and as you do he will begin to move in your physical body he will begin to establish you in that large place of full mobility and healing shall take place and youth renewal shall take place and yes even prosperity will begin to flood your bank accounts you are blessed says the Spirit of the Lord and you shall increase and there shall be great glory given to me because I am living in you let me live large let me live big we thank you Holy Ghost for it in Jesus name amen you have a tither and offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I glorify you with this offering with this tithe and I thank you that you are glorified by manifesting wealth in my life and you are pleased by your servant prospering I worship you in Jesus name amen right hand holy ghost your god in the earth